Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to join two tables and uh, retrieve the results of the joined tables in SQLite. As before, uh, I'm just uh, going to use this customers.db database in this particular folder here, see SQLite 3 my data. And to access this, I need to open my command prompt. So I just go to the this box here in the Windows Explorer and type CMD and that starts the command prompt inside that folder and you can see here see sqlite 3 my data same folder and i can do a dir and view the customers.db file here and i can now open that with sqlite 3 sqlite 3 space customers.db having opened it i would like to see the schema and that will list all the tables there are three tables in this database, customers database. One is the customers table, the second is a products table, and the third is a customer product or CP table. Broadly speaking, the customers table lists all the customers and the city where they live. The products table lists all the products, including the part number or the product number, and the city where that product is stored in maybe an uh, uh, inventory or a warehouse. And finally, the CP table lists all the shippings of uh, part numbers or product numbers to specific customer numbers. So uh, for the sake of database efficiency, these three uh, sets of data are stored in three separate tables, but sometimes we want information from multiple tables all together in one view. So to do that, we'll have to join tables. So to do so in this context, let's say, for example, we want to know which uh, products were shipped to which customers okay so now that information is located in the CP table um, so I can do a select star from CP and uh, that will show uh, that customer C1 is to receive part P1 in the quantity 400 QTY is the third one quantity 400 and so on so this shows the shippings that have been scheduled or that have been done of various parts for various customers. But then it's kind of cryptic, right? C1, C2, C4, P2, P5. Okay, but what if you wanted to know, for example, you wanted to know, let's say the customer's name and the product ID and the quantity. So in that case, you'd have to join two separate tables to get that. So you'd have to join, let's go back to the schema again. You'd have to join the customers table that contains the customer's name and the CP table which contains a part number and the quantity. So you could do something like this. I need to clear the screen so I'll say CLS stands for clear screen and I'm going to say select C name comma P N O comma QTY from customers comma CP where customers dot CNO equals CP dot CNO. And if you do that now, instead of C1, C2, C3, you actually have the customer's name against the part number. Now, here we joined two tables, but sometimes we might want to join three tables. So again, to take a look at the schema. Um, so now you have customers, um, C name, and let's say part P name. So instead of part P1, P2, you want the P name. So then you'd have to join the customers table, the products table, and the customer and products or CP table. So to do that, uh, here's another query. select C name, P name, and QTY from customers, products, CP, where customers.cno equals cp.cno and PNO equals CP dot PNO and that should do it. So now you have 
a list of customers and the product names and the quantities so you have the full information right so this is uh, how you do joins of tables this is called a join here here we have joined three tables uh, by specifying a criteria so there should be if you're going to join any two tables you need to have a common column between the two tables so if you the common column between the customers and the customer products table is customer number the common column between products and CP is part number so we take advantage of those common columns by putting an equal to sign like this and that ensures that you get um, the data from the other tables so I hope you found this useful thanks for watching